Let us now take another example from model 5 where the given statements are some buildings are sofas, some sofas are benches and some benches are tables. And the conclusions are some tables are sofas and no table is sofa. So as you can see here the given two conclusions form a complementary pair. That is the first conclusion here is some tables are sofas and the second conclusion is no table is sofa. So this is in the form of some A's are B's, no A is B. So this is a complementary pair of statements. And as I've already mentioned, whenever we have a complementary pair, we have to check all the various diagrams possible to find out which of these conclusions are true. Let us anyway draw the basic diagram first for these statements. The first statement here is some buildings are so fast. So buildings and so fast can be taken as shown here. So we find that some of the buildings are so fast. The second statement is some so fast are benches. So so fast and benches can be taken as shown here. So this is the region where some sofas are benches. And the third statement is some benches are tables. So some of these benches are tables can be taken as shown. So this is the region where some of the benches are tables. As we can see here, the given conclusions are with respect to tables and sofas. So let us understand in what other way can the tables be drawn. The last statement is some benches are tables. So the basic diagram is as shown here. But otherwise, tables can be taken in this manner where some of the benches are tables. So these are the benches which are going to be tables. So as per the basic diagram, this is the region where some of the benches are tables. And as per the other diagram, these are the benches which are tables. Now let us see which of these conclusions are true. The first conclusion is some tables are so fast. Now if you go by the basic diagram, Tables and sofas are disjoint from each other. That is, they do not overlap. So some tables are sofas does not follow the basic diagram. But if you go by the second diagram, we find that some tables are definitely sofas. So conclusion number one is true in the second diagram, but not in the basic diagram. And if you look at the conclusion number two, that is no table is so far, it follows the basic diagram. Why? Because tables and so far are completely disjoint. There is no overlapping. So no table is so far is true as per the basic diagram. But if you look at the second diagram, no table is so far fails. Why? Because we know that some of the tables are so far. So very clearly, the conclusion number two follows the basic diagram, but it does not follow the second diagram. So we find here that the first conclusion is true in the second diagram but not in the basic diagram and the second conclusion is true in the basic diagram but it is false in the second diagram. So here because this is a complementary pair either this diagram or the other diagram has to be correct. So we can say that either the conclusion number one is true or the conclusion number two is true. So the answer for this question should be either one or two is true. So if the basic diagram is considered, we find that conclusion number 2 is true. And if the second diagram is considered, we find that conclusion 1 is true. So any one of these two have to be true. So that is the reason the answer for this question should be either 1 or the conclusion 2 is true. Remember friends, just because the given conclusions make a complementary pair doesn't mean that always the answer will be either 1 or 2 is true. In some cases, there may be a chance that only one of the conclusions is true and the other conclusion is false. So do not take it for granted that whenever there is a complementary pair in the given conclusions, the answer always will be either 1 or 2 is true. In some cases, the answer may be any one of them is true. So we always have to check with all the possible diagrams and only then find out which of these conclusions are definitely true.